How's it going everyone? My name is JJ and today I'll be showing you all the rare candy locations for Pokemon Crystal. But before we get into the video, 98.7% of you who watch these videos aren't subscribed. So make sure to subscribe with notifications turned on so you don't miss another video from me. So before you leave this video, make sure to drop a like and subscribe with notifications turned on. So the first red candy we have is at Olivine City in the lighthouse. If you follow the lighthouse up, like your natural way around the lighthouse, you'll come up to about the third floor I think we are now. So you go up these stairs and then you want to head all the way around to the stairs on the right hand side. And then normally to progress up towards where Jasmine is and her and Farios, you'd go to the left and fall down the black hole but instead we're going to head down and around to the, towards the left hand side around this way and you'll find another set of stairs and then finally if you go up and around past the trainer who will want to battle you you can then find a pokeball and find the rare candy inside it the next rare candy we have is in violet city you'll need to use surf to be able to get this and be able to use Surf outside the battle. So if you head north of Violet City, you'll find the small patch of uh, water to surf on and then there'll be the, the land you can go back on and find the rare candy in the Pokeball on the floor. After that, we are in Goldenrod City and we're gonna head southbound towards Route 34 and on the left hand side, there is a patch of water again that you can surf on. Once you surf on that, head down and you'll see the small patch of land again. If you go click A on this tree, it's a hidden rare candy, but it will come up for you. Next up, we're at the Lake of Rage. I'd recommend having a strong team, or see just your, your normal battling team, as well as um, some repels as well. You'll also need a Pokemon that can use cut outside of battle. So as you head um, down and around to the left hand side of the Lake of Rage and then head back up northwards, it's like a little maze in a way. This is where you're going to use Cut for the first time. And then around the corner there will be a trainer who will want to battle you, quite literally someone guarding I guess you could say the, uh, the rare candy. I just skipped the battle because it's not really worth you watching it. No point you see him. He does have a Charmeleon, a Wartle, and a and a Ivysaur. If you click on the ground just before the tree, you'll then find the rare candy there. Next, we're back in the starter town, and we're going to use Surf on the right-hand side to go towards Route 27 and towards the Kanto region. So you'll get to this land here, and then you'll find some more water that you can surf on. So if you surf on this and go all the way to the right, you'll find a Pokeball on a small patch of land with a rare candy inside. Just like that. So next up we're at Mount Mortar. I'm going through the middle entrance of Mount Mortar and then you're going to want to surf on the water instead of going down the ladder. You'll also need a Pokemon that can use Waterfall for this one. So use Waterfall to go up, obviously the Waterfall, and then head round to the left and then back up again. I went the wrong way, here we go. Now back up and then you'll see a cave entrance in here. Then head towards the water on the left hand side and then surf all the way to the left and you'll find again a small patch of land that you can then find a rare candy inside a Pokeball like we do here. So the next rare candy we've got is in the World Islands. So we're going to start off here at Olivine City and we're going to head southbound. We're going to want to hit the top right <laughs> World Island. I think that's the best way to describe it. There's four in a square. Top left, top right, bottom left, bottom right. And we're going to want to hit, go towards the one that's on the top right, uh, which is basically directly south of Olivine City. For this, you'll need to use Whirlpool to get in and then surf around. So once you surf around, you can then enter into the World Islands. I would recommend having a Pokemon that can use Flash as well, just to make this slightly easier to follow me and jump down the ledge and then jump down this one and use the ladder 
and then just head north and then if you click on the floor just here you'll find a rare candy nice and simple our next one is at Tin Tower. For this one, you would need to have caught uh, Ainte, Raikou, and Suicune, and then shown um, shown Eswine. Is that his name? Eswin? Oh, I actually don't know his name, how to pronounce it. If I show him in Selvia City, and he'll give you access to climb up the Tin Tower for you to go find Ho Ho. But on your way up, you'll be able to get a rare candy. So we're just going to use a Max Repel here. And in Tin Tower, there's all these little ledges that you can jump across. So make sure to follow what I'm doing and the route I take, or else you won't be able to get the rare candy and you'll have to start from the bottom again, basically. So go up these stairs here <clears throat> and then head towards the left, down through the middle, then left again, then up the stairs. Then you want to go up and around towards the right. And then go down the middle, to the left, down, down, right, across, and there's a Pokeball in the middle, and that is your rare candy. And then the final rare candy is a real simple one, it's at Cinnabar Island. If you head up from the Pokemon Center all the way to the back, on the floor hidden, you'll find a rare candy on the floor. And that is where you can find all the rare candies on Pokemon Crystal. I hope the video was helpful, if it was be sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're new around it as 98.7% of you who watch these videos aren't already and I'll see you next time for another video, bye!